Welcome everyone. I thought I'd do a bonus video on the distributive property just, just because it's such a useful thing to know and useful thing to use. Um, two things it's very, very useful for and it's something that a lot of people struggle with is multiplication and division. The distributive property is extremely useful when multiplying large numbers or dividing large numbers. Uh, one thing you'll need to remember for distributive property is probably one of the most important things you've ever learned in mathematics, and that is number bonds, a number bond. If you can't remember what that word is, I'll show you real quick, and I'm sure you'll remember what it was. A number bond is if I have a large number, I can break that number up into two smaller, easier numbers, friendlier numbers, we like to say. So 8, 8 is a tough number, but I can split it up into a friendly number. That friendly number is one of my friendliest. It's 5, and what goes with 5 to make 8? Of course, it's 3. It's 5, and I add 3 more, we'll have 8. So let's remember that there. That's really, really important for distributive property. Let's hop over here to multiplication. Sometimes, I don't know, you might have a difficult multiplication. Let's say 17 times 13. Ah, uh, yo. My goodness, what do I do again? Well, I don't have to follow this traditional formatting. What I can do is I can rewrite this as I want 13 groups of 17. Well, 17, if you remember my number bond, I can split 17 up into two friendlier numbers. I have 13 groups of 10 and 13 groups of 7. So 17 can actually be split up to 10 plus 7. Well, I have 13, 13 times 10. What's 13 times 10? 10 groups of 13 is 130, and 13 times 7. So 130 plus 13 times 7. Well, I know 7 times 10 is 70. I know 7 times 3 is 21. So 70 plus 21 is 91. Add these all up together, and I'll have a grand total of 221. Okay, oh, there we go. And so I can do these very complicated multiplications in my head because I say, okay, 13 times 10, that's 130. And I can go 13 times 7, well, I know 10 groups of 7 is 70. 3 groups of 7 is 21. 21 plus 70, that's 91. 130 plus 91, 221. Okay? And the same thing goes to division. You could do, let's say, let me think of one real quick. Um, how many times does 13 go into 156? Mm, well, I, I could try to go through that whole long division, or I could try to do partial products like that, and the distributive property is very similar to that partial products. But let's think about it. Okay, so I have 156. I want to split it up into groups of 13. Well, let's, let's first break this up into two friendly numbers, a friendly number for 13. Well, some of my friendliest numbers of 13, or of any number, is multiples of 10. So I know that I can take one multiple of 10, so that's 130 out from there. And what's left? 130 take away from 156 is, well, that's 26, because I have 30 plus 20 is 50, and then 6. Well, I already know that 130, how many groups of 10 is 130? Or sorry, how many groups of 13? That's 10 groups of 13. And 26, how many groups of 13 is 26? That's two of them. So how many groups I have all together? I have 12. And if I were to go through this whole thing, I would find out that, well, 13 goes into 156 12 times. And if you practice that, you can you could do this in your head, no problem, as long as we can find friendly numbers and find how many groups of, um, of my divisor goes into my friendly numbers. Okay? Uh, give this a practice. I hope it helps, and I hope it really helps your mental math. Bye now.